all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of baking soda. You guys, I find that these cookies come out better with baking soda other than baking powder. So we are using baking soda. And I have it in here already mixed with the flour already. I'm going to put my butter in here. My butter. Y'all see my butter? It's unsalted butter, you guys. And when you measure your flour, please measure it correctly because you don't want dry cookies. So you make sure you measure when you put your flour in your cup, you put it in there and you um, uh, glide the knife across it so that you can even it out to a full cup. If you, if, you, if you put too much flour in your cookies, you're not going to be good. You want to put it just right. When you're baking, you must measure correctly when you bake your cookies. So I'm going to blend up my butter, my granulated sugar. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, I also need a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm going to blend up my brown sugar. So that's three-fourths cups of brown sugar, three-fourths cups of white sugar, two sticks of butter. I'm going to blend this all together. I will be back because I know y'all don't want to hear this. So I have to blend it up and this is what it looks like. I'm going to add one egg at a time, but y'all know I don't eat nobody's kids, so I have to crack this egg uh, in this bowl so I can take these kids out. Don't forget. Guys, I'm going to spread the sides down and I'm going to add my flour a little bit at a time. One, because you don't want to blend it all and make a mess, and two, because you just want to do that. You don't want to make a mess all over the place. And just add parts of it. Little parts, not too much of it. Oh, no. Guys, I'm gonna add the rest, all of it. I'm just gonna add all of it. Move it around a little bit just so it don't start flying. Flower don't fly everywhere. Best chocolate chip cookie you've ever tasted. I'm putting pecans in my guys. Pecans. Because I like cooking the nuts. I'm trying to get out of here. have to put the nuts in them. I just like nuts, so I'm putting it in mine. You guys, so I'm about to scrape this because I blended it so much, but it's still flour around the bone. So I'm just scrape it and fold it in there. Just get the excess flour that's around the side off of there. I'm gonna add my um, nuts. Well, I need to add my vanilla. I thought it's a good cookie dough right there. Don't eat this stuff raw, y'all. I don't know why people let the kids eat cookie dough. When it's got raw eggs in it. Flour. Flour is not supposed to be raw. Not supposed to be raw flour. But you guys, you need a whole entire bag. I'm using milk chocolate. You can use semi sweet. You can use dark chocolate. You can use whatever you want to use. This is 11.5 11.5 ounce of chocolate chips that I am using, and I'm using them all. This recipe makes about 30 cookies, you guys. About 30. Probably won't make 30 in my house. It'll probably be less because I might make them bigger than what they are. But, uh, I'm going to add some pecans because I love it. I love the pecans. I do. So I'll say I'm going to add about, I'll probably add about a cup. Let's say I add about a cup. And if I feel that I need more, 
Y'all, they're not chopped up, and I don't feel like chopping them up, so they're going to just go in here like this. Let me break them up a little bit. Because I have added the pecans in here. Did y'all say pecan or pecan? I know I've asked this question before. What time do y'all say? I say pecan, pecan, I say it all. It doesn't matter what you say. You guys, so this is, um, this is my cookie dough. I'm not going to sit in the refrigerator for it to cool off or anything. I mean, for it to, you know, get hard or whatever. And you can freeze this. Just put it in a Ziploc bag, tighten it up real tight, and put it in the freezer. Because I'm not going to make 30 cookies tonight. I'm going to just put a few on the cookie sheet and let you guys see how they come out once I am uh, once I'm done. So let me clean this up and I will be right back to scoop these in. Okay you guys I am back and I have my ice cream scoop. This is a little one. Um this is not really ice cream scoop, it's actually two scoop cookies. But I also use it to scoop ice cream when I scoop it. These look a lot of simple to do. I'll do it my way. So I'll probably get about I don't want to do more than six cookies. And I, and I lined my um, pan with parchment paper. The cookies, they're not gonna be big anyway because this thing is small. So I was able to get six of them on here. I'm gonna do another pan with six more. No, you guys know what? I think I'm gonna just keep this six. But my oven is preheated to 375 degrees and I'm gonna bake these cookies for eight to 10 minutes. I'll probably bake them for eight minutes because I like mine to be ooey gooey chocolate chewy. So y'all, these are going to go in the oven. Here are my finished cookies. They're golden brown in the bottom. You know, yeah. Let me break it in here so you can see all the golden green chocolate cheese. You guys, I actually wanted to sprinkle some salt on top, but I didn't. So you guys, I'm about to go. These cookies are bomb. 